The Association of Private School Owners has appealed to the federal government to continue with the support fund program to enable them to stay in business and put apparatus in place to secure the lives of their pupils and students. They made this appeal in Abuja while training their members on how to handle the socioeconomic and security implications of the COVID-19 pandemic. Celestine Area reports. Security lapses and challenges such as youth restiveness, terrorism and insurgent attacks, kidnappings for monetary ransoms, arsons, murder, court-related activities and mass protests have been on the rise in schools in Nigeria. In the wake of Boko Haram insurgency, attacks in schools, suicide attacks, bombings, abductions and hostage taking have taken prominence and have remained issues of serious security concern. While many have fallen victim to the dangers aforementioned, very few have actually escaped death or injury during such attacks. In the prevailing circumstances, the Association of Private School Owners of Nigeria has taken it upon themselves to train its members on the need to engage in violence prevention programs. These violent prevention programs involve people management, programs, training and technology. Part of this program involves being a cordial relationship with security agencies stationed in school locations. The challenges we are seeing in the country, there is security challenges. COVID-19 came and put all our children at home. And so we decided to take up the topic so that we can brainstorm ourselves because we are, we are leaders. On an annual basis, we organize this retreat for our leaders from the 36 states of the country. They are, our preoccupation is to update them, get ourselves updated with modern trends in education. Then those who have been so brushed up here, their duty is now to go back, go and teach, train, other proprietors. The donations or the support will come direct to the school account, but they ask us to give uh, to give them our staff account number, which we have done that. So most of the staff, they start collecting the first alert they left the school and they refused to join the school. And they still collect the, uh, the survivor found when it is the three month experience. But what they did for the proprietors, what they have given to your staff, that is what they will give to you. The effect of COVID-19 pandemic has taken a toll on some schools which have to have shut down due to inability to stay in business due to the fact that children were out of school for about seven months. Absent wants the federal government to see them as relevant stakeholders in the education sector as they help to reduce the rate of unemployment in the country. Celestina area, CBC News, Abuja.